Alright, so welcome back today to more Darksiders. <clears throat> I actually ended up taking quite a long break and I felt kind of sickly, so we're here again. Ooh, the Angel Diplomat has left a gift for me. Very nice. Now, if only I knew what half of these uh, things were for, I still don't even know what the Crucible is. Oh, stupid bell! What was the point of that? He just chopped a bell in half for no reason. Oh! A floating fortress! Hey, bud! Give me a bro hug! It's a flying pirate ship. What the hell? This guy is crazy. Free fall! Who's even flying this thing? Oh, you know, just business as usual, riding down two gigantic flying sky snakes. And now Prince of Persia mode activate. Well, the Lord of Bones. I guess we're not going back that way. Oh, nice. Even if you don't have it equipped, you can still use it. Alright, hold on. Even if the death grip isn't equipped, you can still, uh... If you're parkouring, you can still grab stuff. I just realized I don't have a map. I'm stuck. <laughs> I was trying to run around it to see if there was anything around it. Shit, I do need to equip it now. This is a different matter. Where the hell am I going with this? Oh. oh. Are you kidding me? Can I even make that jump without assistance? I don't know. That jump right there. Can I make that? Yeah, I can. What the hell? There you go. Another chest for my effort. Yeah, I'll heal the two damage I took by falling off. Completely worth wasting a health pot. What the hell? I guess I have to make a jump. <laughs> I guess wrong. I guess maybe I'm not supposed to make that jump.
Oh, can I grab the chain, maybe? Because I can grab this. And I can't go anywhere else. So now, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to jump out and try and grab that, or if it's in between those two spikes. What about the chain? Oh! I can grab the wooden beam above the chain. Okay. Yeah, that's too far out. It's an optical illusion. It looks like you could reach it. Thank you. Another conveniently placed wooden beam. Is this what he has to do every time he wants to go to his throne room? Watch, he's gonna be a pussy. He's not gonna be a badass or anything. Up here. Oh, maybe not. And now I get a map. Anything down here? Anything? What is down here anyway? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. All right. Right through to the throne room, I'm guessing. Five ethereal specters training right there. That was cool. The eternal throne. A flying dungeon. Let me guess. These guys are hostile, huh? Maybe not. A chance to send you. Well, horseman. I've beaten death once, but I can do it again. I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. You still reek of hope. Who's the Chancellor? The Chancellor doesn't sound like much. Kratos, his tongue has dripped venom into the dead king's ears. He has a sword stuck in him. You see that, right? Oh, but sits upon the eternal throne, demanding service. <laughs> He's a sword stuck inside him. He actually has two. One's broken off. Actually, looks like he has three. One in his side, or my bad, his arm. Master of Blades. And all that remains of the warrior once called Draven, and the kingdom of man. I should have passed through the world of souls long ago. But I won my freedom in the arena, only to fall beneath the dead king's train. You can teach me. Axe training, mace training. Glaive training, rising upper, claw training, buckler training, gauntlet training, arm blade training. Rift breaker. Oh, here we go. Flip saw. In air. Right bumper plus X or X during quick fall. I think that was actually a move in uh, Darksiders 1. I'll get it. I'm hesitant to buy any of the Y maneuvers because I never know what... Uh, what kind of weapon I'll be using to why like right now I think I have what arm blades or something for my scythes anyway destroy their supplies fuck the undead looks like there's something oh crap what's this there's something in there Oh, 
Oh, it's a tome. Let's see what the angel, whatever his name was. Gift from Angel Diplomat. I deliver you this. I deliver this gift to you, Rider of Death, so it may be kept far from the clutches of the Demon Horde, an axe drawn from the corpse of a mighty demon lord slayed in the field. Look not into its eyes. Torment seethes from within its gaze. Balance be kept, horseman. Oh yeah, that's right. What I did last night is on the Darksiders Facebook page, they were actually advertising you could get this free axe by entering this code. And since I already have a THQ ID, I was just able to enter that and I got it for free. Let's see how good it is. And it's limited time as well, so all the better. Hold on. Chaos Fang. Ooh. Brutal Scythes of Fire. Those are better. Damn, then they're bigger too. Alright, enough. Now I have two available skill points. Here we go. Oh, it's terrible! <laughs> it's absolute garbage. Wait, is it a possessed weapon? Oh yeah, you can upgrade it. Alright, good. But let me let me look at my other stuff. Sorcerer's Cowl. Actually, this will drop my defense, boost my wrath, and reduce my wrath cost if I want to give up 12 defense, which I don't want to. No. More health, but it'll drop my defense 6. You lose 10 health every time you fall down a pit. Alright, Pathfinder's Talisman more critical damage more execution chance but no defense and no health and execute the fool all right so i guess i'll start upgrading it it's absolute shit <laughs> it's terrible and now i have to make it better all right so scythes of frost Immediate level up for using a Scythe of Frost. I want health per kill over frost damage. Alright, I'm not done. Scythes of Fire. Instant level up again. Fire damage or ice damage? Hmm. 19 fire damage or 42 ice damage? That was tough. Upgrade it again. Wow, this, this thing is com incredibly easy to boost. I don't even get through half my junk upgrading it like this. Defense, of course, please. So now it's actually starting to get pretty good. What else can I give it? Wrath on crit. Health on crit. Health on crit. Wrath per kill. So blue means stuff that it can... So, okay, I, I just finally figured this out. If When you're trying to sacrifice an item to a possessed item, a green attribute means it will be able to add more bonus to whatever your whatever stat is already on the item. A blue, or, you know, I guess a white or however whatever color that would be, adds more bonus... would just add that period. Like, it adds that stat additionally, and it's not already there. And gray means something it cannot give. So, let's see what I can give it. Arcane, Arcane. Critical damage. If I give it the Pathfinder's Talisman. I was right. Look at this. Now I know how to craft weapons. Now I know how to craft weapons. You don't just spam, rape the A button until your weapon has all, you know, you've used up all possible weapons. You have to actually consider what you're going to give your weapon. So actually, I'm not going to give it anything else for right now, because if I find another possessed weapon, I, uh, I might want to use, you know, mix it up a bit. So I'll equip it. I don't even think it's rendered partially, but I'll use it. So now I know how to actually, you know, make weapons. That's good. What the hell? It's 